Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the 13th tutorial in Backbone.js. This is Victor and today I'm going to teach you how to modify models within a collection or made it made more simple. I'm going to teach you how to modify items within a model. I'm sorry, within a collection. <laughs> so right now all I have is a student model which is going to be part of my student collection as we can tell right here. Um, something that I forgot to say in past tutorials is that collections can also have an initialize function. Then we have created two student models. One is called Johnny, another one is called Vicky. And we have this other function that is going to help us see what's going on within our collection. All it does is that it displays the contents of the collection. So in order for us to modify models within our collection, all we have to do is first of all create our collection. So we're going to create a var class or student group. Let's make it a student group this time. Student group. Group. Sorry. Is equal to new student collection then we are going to add our students with the square brackets we're gonna add Johnny and Vicky now next thing we're gonna do and actually this is student group not student um, next thing we're gonna do is get one of the items within the collection and to do that, all we have to do is student dot student group dot get. And to remember that to get something, we need to get it by its ID. So if we want to get Johnny, we need to pass into this function a zero because we want to get Johnny's ID. Once we have that, we need to assign it to a variable. Let's call this variable student is equal to that. And then this student becomes a reference to the model within our collection which is Johnny then all we can we have to do to modify that model is use the functions that we have learned before which is student dot set we need the curly braces and then we say name which is this attribute we say name we want to change it from Johnny to Lopez and so what happens is that now this student, Johnny, will have the name of Lopez instead. And to check that we are right, let's output or print to the console what is in our collection. So all we have to do is use our function display collection contents. And then we pass in a string, which is before. And then we pass in the collection. I'm going to copy and paste because I'm lazy. After. Now let's go to our browser and let's see what happens. We refresh. Um, we have an error, line 25. Huh. Let me check why that is and I'll get back in a second. God, I'm so stupid. Sorry, I'm back. And the reason why I'm wrong is because this is a this is supposed to be a comma, not a plus sign. I was thinking of outputting my console log right here, but that's not how I've made my my function. So anyway, let's go back to our browser, refresh, and there we go. Before, the name was Johnny and Vicky. The students were Johnny and Vicky, and now it's Lopez and Vicky. Now, something else that I want to say before I end this tutorial is that Johnny can still be modified and whatever changes I make to Johnny will show up within the model in student group. Now, let's show that. Let's call this after after 1 and let's make an after 2. Now, let's change Johnny johnny.set and let's set Johnny's name again to back to Johnny. So name is going to be Johnny again. This time with a capital J. 
and what's gonna happen is we're gonna display again the contents of student group and since we changed Johnny which is a reference to the model within the student group when we display student group the name is gonna be changed to from from Lopez to Johnny and there we go see that cool so that's the end of this tutorial I'll see you guys in the next one